Greenlaw and Eagles head of security Dom DeSandro both ejected after a skirmish on the sideline. Worth noting, Nick, Dom DeSandro uh, does not play for the Eagles. Or coach for the Eagles. Or coach. Eagles. Or have any official job involving the, the, the game day with the players. Nope. But he's allowed to just get into it with the, the players, I guess. Here's Kyle Shanahan. I just can't believe someone not involved in a football game um, can taunt our players like that and put their hands in our guy's face. And um, from what I was told, um, Dre did it back to him. And I was told that he kind of ma mashed him in the face a little bit, so he got ejected. But um, it was a it was a very frustrating play. I got to watch it to have a true opinion on it. But um, I loved how we rallied after it. Okay, here's how the 49ers responded. Three consecutive touchdowns. So there's that. Your reaction, Nick. I thought it was one of the most outrageous things that happened in the NFL all year. And the fact that they are able to go to replay and look at the whole thing to determine these things, I thought Greenlaw's ejection should have been nullified. Not only because I don't believe he was throwing a punch. I believe he was, point he was pointing and he grazed the guy's nose. Now, you can say you got to be careful. I think if that was a ref standing between them, he would have been careful. But instead, it's some guy. He's not even wearing the, the outfits the coaches wear, just some guy who had no business being there. Mm. And I, I thought it was, he asked, this was just you, a regular you, skirmish. You thought, you thought that was just him saying, hey, can you move away? No, I think <laughs> he was like trying to get after, hey, I, think, move away. I think he's trying to get it, but the other, the guy who has no business being there, it, it escalated the whole thing. And if this is the press in the NFL sets, then any super fan that if Paul Rudd, when they play, when the Chiefs play the Bills next week, if Josh Allen comes out on the sideline, should shove him and see what no, the hell happens. Like they, it is. There's it, no super the, fans that are that close the, to the but, 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 but to his point, come coach, on, that guy, that guy. You had, could, if, if, you could put anyone out there, a security guy, somebody with the team, non vital to personnel, another, an opponent, because yeah. he did provoke him. Yeah, and they, I, so I thought they should have just maybe given Greenlaw a penalty, and that's that. It, it shouldn't have happened on either side, and, and and to have a player who lashes out at someone like he did, and then get kicked out of the game, that that shouldn't happen. And and, and saying that that was the rallying cry for the team, I don't know if that's exactly the message that you want to send to your group. I mean, it's an emotional decision that you made that cost you, that cost the team, and then you get thrown out. Should should he have been there on the sideline? Like, you know, in that mix, no, he shouldn't have been. There shouldn't have been that support yeah. person there. Yeah. I totally agree with you on that, Nick. But I don't think the player lashing out at him makes it any better or or the whole situation oh. is bad. Also, Wilds, yeah, 10% of the blame, Sirianni. <laughs> Just the way his whole taunting fans and the way he carries himself, all that stuff, sure. made his security guard feel like, you know what, I can get up in this mix. Sure. I don't, I, you know, the, I, if he was Jalen Hurt, I understand he's the team's security overall. One of the perks he gets is gets to be there on game day. He can't be inserting himself in these melees. Absolutely. And I think Sirianni sets that tone. Five, I said 10%. I'm downgrading at 5%. Oh, I would have gone up. 15%. Yeah, I would have gone 15%. 15%.